hello everyone welcome to people tutorial and I'm going to show you in this video that how to create the login function which we created already uh, almost half so in this video I'm going to show you how to complete that so here is the uh, function which we created already uh, but we still we did not complete this we need to call this function from the main menu and execute so we will see how to do that uh, so this uh, this is the function header so we need to identify to this main function there is sometime some other function below you so for that we need to call as a prototype calling so prototype calling is the way to identify that there is a function another function available so then only we can call it inside this function so i am going to make it as a global uh, prototype calling so you can uh, excuse me sorry uh, you can make the this call calling function even inside the main function but uh, but you cannot use this function in uh, this calling uh, sorry this function in any other function if you want to call so if you create as a global uh, prototype calling so you don't need to keep repeating the calling function so I prefer global uh, calling uh, as a global uh, prototype calling as a you know common uh, prototype uh, calling function but if you want to make it a uh, more privacy or you feel uh, comfortable with the you know calling prototype inside the function it's up to you okay so we have create the prototype calling here already and let's start the coding here inside the main function uh, before we create the before we call we need to create a switch case to call the function but uh, for that we need two string variable I need to create two string variable to input the username and password okay so here it's done already okay so I'm going to create the switch case here switch choice okay so this is this is the variable which we created already uh, as an integer to get the user input for the menu selection so the menu selection will be will use this uh, variable to take the user input and here I'm going to give the case 1 so case 1 is a uh, you know the case 1 means if a user enter number one so what will going to happen so we need to give the output okay, c out please enter the admin user name okay this will print on the screen uh, after the print th this one we need to take the user input as a username so i'm giving the this variable using the variable user and we need to see out again the password to enter the password so I'm going to use this password variable to uh, to input password by the user so after that I am going to call this function okay here's the login username and password as a parameters okay so you don't need to give this uh, void uh, again or you need to you don't need to mention this string again uh, you just you can give the function name this is the name of the function or function header name and you can just give the variables uh, as a parameters which we're going to input as a username and password by the users uh, of this application so this will uh, take the username and password to this uh, it will replace this one and it will go inside the processing 
part and it will give the result whether it is uh, matching or not matching okay so for that we need to compile this application and we need to check so for that uh, we need to save this one before we compile so I give save so I already saved this one I'm just showing you uh, I have saved this one as a main one file uh, you know to uh, so you don't need to give a different name you can use your previous name but I always keep this practice to save uh, when I updating a comment uh, sorry uh, when I update the coding or doing some modification I give some different name so if there is something goes wrong so I can uh, recover my previous uh, version so if you want to use your own, uh, same uh, previous file it's up to you so I save this one okay and I, I'm going to show you uh, compile and show you whether it's working or not in next video all right thank you